check it out guys hocus pocus mystery mini keychain figure things blind bags hocus pocus i freaking love hocus pocus and i found these today and i picked up two that's all i could afford today but uh i'm gonna open these at the end of this this uh, video um just a quick haul video uh, I picked these up at Spirit Halloween store and they also have them at Spencer's apparently Spencer's it runs Spirit I guess so yeah uh, pretty cool they are $7.99 they might be cheaper on the website I'm not sure I did have the 20% off coupon you can get by going to the website um, but I'll find out which two I got at the end of the video so this is just a quick haul video um, I'm gonna start really quick with something that I'm gonna unbox in another video later and that is the Wonder Woman Best Buy Steelbook this is the new feature film from the new DC multiverse um, it's the one starring Gal Gadot this is in 4k Steelbook Best Buy exclusive comes with a DVD and the no it comes with a blu-ray no DVD it's got the 4k it's got the blu-ray it's got the digital copy so pretty cool um picked this up after work yesterday when it came out so gonna do an unboxing of it after i do this video okay what else um got some more funko stuff for you just grab it all um i don't think i've shown any of this stuff to you yet uh last weekend we threw a birthday party for my sister. I did film parts of it. Um, I hope to make a video of it. I don't know what's gonna happen right now because today is the last day for the YouTube video editor and it's what I use because for some reason uh, I have trouble getting video editors to work on my computer unless they're like YouTube or like online like that. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna edit my videos with from now on. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it will not be a big problem. Maybe they're gonna replace it with a better video editor? I don't know. Maybe they're gonna start charging you to join YouTube Red so you can edit your videos. I don't know. But anyway, today, last day, so I'm doing a few quick videos. Um, this is Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I was talking about my sister's birthday. Uh, I went out um, shopping last last few items I needed for her birthday and uh, one thing I wanted was gonna be at the comic shop so I went over there and I found this so I picked it up for myself because you know DuckTales my all-time favorite TV show Scrooge McDuck my favorite fictional character ever Funko Pop very cool I'm very excited I'm also excited because I just found out they're coming out with um, mystery mini figures uh, I think Funko might be the ones that make those I'm not sure uh, of uh, DuckTales and it's old school, not not DuckTales, um, Disney Afternoon. So it's going to have DuckTales, Rescue Rangers, Tailspin, Darkwing Duck. I think it's those four at first. And, um, you know, if we see a second round, it'll probably have Goof Troop and Gargoyles and who knows what else. But bonkers, maybe. <laughs> um, so, yeah, really happy to have gotten my Scrooge McDuck, DuckTales, uh, Funko Pop. Now... And I've got Darkwing. Uh, I still need the kids from DuckTales. There's, a, I think, Magic of the Spell somewhere is coming out. I'm not sure if that's an exclusive. Um, from Darkwing Duck, I, I have two. I have Darkwing, which I've shown before, and somebody I picked up just a few days back, and that's Launchpad McQuack. So I still need Gossel and Waddlemire. And I think there's supposed to be a Nega Duck, but I don't know where that is because. Like on the back of the box, you don't see the villains on either of these. But I know I've seen a Negaduck Funko Pop, so... Uh, but yeah, um, very cool. Launchpad. Launchpad goes with Darkwing and Scrooge. That's awesome. Um, and finally, um, for the Funko stuff today, uh, I went back to Toys R Us. I could not avoid doing this. It's just one of the most gorgeous Funko rock candy figures I've ever seen. Picked her up. Daenerys, I don't know how to pronounce this because I don't watch the show, but I'm going to say Daenerys Targaryen. Um, uh, but I, I totally love this character. I love this actress. Totally the most gorgeous Funko Pop I've seen. Uh, Funko, sorry, Rock Candy 
from Funko also. Um, yeah, very cool. And uh, that was a Toys R Us. They had a bunch of them. I haven't seen any more Hermione Grangers. I still need one. Ho maybe I'll pick her up at... Maybe they'll have her at Universal Studios. I don't know. I'm going uh, pretty soon. In a, <laughs> a couple of weeks or something. Um, what else? I have a bag here. I don't think I've shown this stuff. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, it's more Funko. Sorry. I guess there is more Funko. Again, I don't know if I showed this stuff in a previous video. Uh, Once upon a time, see the red dot. I got this for like half price. It was less than half price, probably, at um, Barnes and Noble. This is Prince Charming, and I have Snow White already. I probably wouldn't have gotten Prince Charming if I didn't already have Snow White. I didn't even think I was going to get those because I was kind of just. I got Mr. Gold right away. I love Mr. Gold. Uh, Rumble Stiltskin. They didn't make a Mr. Gold version yet, but I got Rumble Stiltskin right away. Um, Emma Swan, I wouldn't mind getting, but I haven't seen her anywhere. And now they're already on the second, the second series, so I don't know. Um, I might have to get Emma Swan off the internet, off Amazon or something. But yeah, uh, so now I've got Prince Charming and Snow White, the two that I did not expect to buy. But it's very cool, half price, you can't complain. Um, I still need Regina and Emma and Captain Hook. From this first round. I love this show, that's why I might actually get them all. And I, I'm just enough for rock candy figures right now, guys. And again, these were half price, so five bucks, five bucks. You know, this was five bucks also. Um, less again, because I my mom has a discount from uh, Barnes and Noble, so <laughs> Barbie in her workout outfit. This is 1980, I'm gonna say 84, 1984 Barbie. Uh, this is, this kind of doubles also as a Toy Story 3 Barbie, is it Toy Story 3? Yeah, where she wears this outfit, so that's pretty cool too. They made a bunch of Barbies and they had all of them at Barnes & Noble for like five bucks. But honestly, this is the one that I, 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 I didn't want a bunch of Barbies, I just wanted to get like one. Um, and yeah, this was definitely the one to get. There's a picture of the actual Barbie it's based on. And here are the other, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Barbies total. I didn't need eight Barbies, I just picked this one. And there's a couple of other decent ones. I mean, they're all good. I mean, if, if I had room, I'd get all of them. <laughs> but I don't know, a lot of them I didn't like the look of them, but this one I, I really liked. So yeah, cool. Another, another rock candy there. And uh, that is almost everything. Almost ready to open uh, those mystery keychains. But I do want to say I went home to my mom's to take her home uh, for a few weeks. And then I'm going to go pick her up so we can go to Disney World. But uh, I, every time I go there, I usually grab some of my stuff. Not always, but sometimes to bring it back here with me. Even though I have a big mess in here, I need to organize. But while I was there, I grabbed off of my wall... Possibly the only two Star Wars figures I have still in the package. I might have a few more, but this is the uh, the twins, the birth of the twins. This is uh, oh, oh this is <laughs> Bale Organa. Sorry, I forgot his I had a brain fart there. Bale Organa with Princess Leia, baby Princess Leia, and this is Obi Wan with a uh, baby Luke Skywalker. So these are, and these are, these might be my only action figures in this scale from episode three. And actually, you know, I liked episode three a lot, but, and here's the back. I liked episode three a lot, I really did. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect, the prequels are not, but I liked it a lot. I, I don't hate on the prequels, I mean, it's a shame they weren't better. <laughs> But I got no time to hate on them. They, they have a lot of cool stuff in them. And anyone who says that isn't true and still like watches Clone Wars just ravenously. I mean, I've, I've, seen, I've seen that so often. People love Clone Wars and still complain about the prequels. Now, there's plenty to complain about. I do it sometimes too, but... They're not the worst movies ever. It's they're just the worst Star Wars movies ever. But um, you know, Episode Three was pretty cool, mostly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I brought those back, and I also brought 
uh, a set of uh, one, two, three, four, five figures I have of Tinkerbell. I have a thing for Tinkerbell. I have a thing for Ariel, Tinkerbell, and Rapunzel. I have a thing for a lot of Disney girls, but those are my big three. That's my holy trinity of Disney girls. And Alice in Wonderland at the parks where Alice in Wonderland is portrayed by legal girls. <laughs> that version of Alice does kind of get me. Something about the outfit on a, you know, an adult girl. Because, <laughs> the you know, the, the cartoon is just, yeah. But, <laughs> but, and also, there's an artist called Jab who does some very nice adult art of an older Alice and it's that's probably what got me into the Alice thing but, but yeah so she'd probably be after Tink Ariel and Rapunzel for me but yeah I I love Tinkerbell and I've got like this whole set of like Tink and her friends that were hanging from my ceiling in my old room on like invisible wires so yeah, I, I, I pulled them off the, the ceiling finally and brought them with me. It's uh, her five. It's her and her four friends from the film. I'm not going to put you through looking at them all, all of them. But <laughs> let's get to the unwrappings. Because I'm very curious of what's in here. I wish I could have gotten three because what if I got all three witches? That's of course the, the main goal here. But there's some very cool figures on here. I'm going to show you what they have. You have, this is probably going to get blurry on me, but let me see if I can tab it and maybe it'll, well, anyway. <laughs> You've got Winifred Sanderson, Sarah Sanderson. You've got uh, Mary Sanderson. You've got, oh, uh, what's, what's the name of the little girl? I'm forgetting everybody's name. It's one of my favorite movies, but Danny. And then you've got Max. Here's Max. And then you've got um, Billy. And then you have, oh, that's, <laughs> I couldn't see it. That's uh, Binks, the cat. And then there's two mystery figures, but you know what they are? One of them is Binks as a ghost, I believe. And the other, of course, is Allison. Um, I don't know why they bothered making a mystery figures. I've seen pictures of them online. <laughs> um, but they say exclusive A and exclusive B, so I don't know if you have to go somewhere to specifically to get those two. But I got this at Spirit Halloween Store. And uh, like I said, they, they also have them at Spencer's. And this is the, the front of the package. So I'm gonna go ahead and see who's in here. Very exciting. I open things like a hillbilly. I got Mary. Mary Sanderson. Can you see that? Is it blurry? Wouldn't have been my first choice, but it's cool to have one of the witches. <laughs> I would say, my, of course, Winifred is the first choice. Uh, and if I got Winifred, then any of the others would be awesome. But that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Right now, I don't have any, so I don't have any doubles yet. I guess whenever I open one, and it's the first one I open. If it's not the one I want the most, I get nervous because there's a chance I'm gonna end up with two of them. <laughs> if you know, if you've been following my videos, I've been getting the DuckTales ones of these and I just keep getting Dewey. I have four Dewey Ducks. And it's very frustrating because I just want to Scrooge. Who could this be? Max Dennison. Or uh, a rap, uh, was he a rap? He's, he's dressed as a, as a rap singer or a little leaguer. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. So that's pretty cool. We got Max. It's like the main, the main non villain character. Not bad. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you, I felt the bags <laughs> and I really thought I had a Winifred, so I'm a little sad. <laughs> but Max and Mary, that is not a bad thing. That's not a bad start. I'm hoping to get a few more of these on the weekend. Um, so cool, Max and Mary. Uh, and yeah, gonna gonna probably have to get a couple more of these. I would really like an Allison, and of course, the two witches and Danny. And you gotta have Binks. Okay, I want everybody. I, I want all of these. <laughs> I wish they weren't blind bags. 
I mean, blind bags are fun, but like the moment you get a double, they're not fun anymore. But the good thing is having doubles of these wouldn't be terrible. I mean, kind of depends on which characters, but I don't mind getting two. Three, uh, if they weren't so pricey, it wouldn't be a big deal, but they're pretty pricey. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I got, I got some major characters. That's cool. They're all major. There's no, there's no losing in this one. They're all great characters. I mean, with DuckTales, they're all great characters too, but it, you know, you'd be more excited to get certain ones than, you know, the kids over, especially one kid over and over. I mean, I've gotten Dewey four times, but <laughs> hopefully that's not going to happen here. I don't need four Maxes. I don't need four Marys. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I think that's everything. I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do an unboxing of Wonder Woman, and I'm also going to do a video on my uh, cosplay, uh, Once Upon a Time, Mr. Gold. I've been showing little pieces of it as I put it together. Uh, I was planning to wear that at Mickey's Not So Scary. I am now not going to get to do that. Um, I kind of wasn't sure I was going to get to. I'll talk about that in my cosplay video, so come back for that, guys. Okay, talk to you later.